Hello and welcome. I am Raghav and today's session is going to be very interesting. Today we are going to learn how we can record our test and we can get all our steps, all our scripts, all our locators auto-generated and we do not have to manually create any of the scripts or we do not have to manually find any of the locators. This is going to be very easy. Do not worry if you are a complete beginner, you can follow along with me step by step. So we are going to see Selenium IDE. It is an awesome browser plugin that we can use to record our test and generate all the scripts and all the locators. We are going to see how do we add Selenium IDE to our browser. We will learn how to record a test, how to play back the test. We will also see how we can export the recorded script for our programming languages. For example, if you are using Selenium Python, you will have the option to export in Selenium Python, then Java, C Sharp, etc. You will see some features and options and we will also see what is command line runner of Selenium IDE. So this is going to be very interesting. Let's get started. And here you can just search for Selenium IDE on Google. This is Selenium IDE and you will get this link from Selenium dot dev this is selenium ide open source record and playback test automation for the web so you can get it for chrome firefox you can also get the zip from here you can see some features here and some how to use it guides here so for now i will go to my i'm on my chrome browser i will go to the web store and i will search for selenium ide so you can directly also go from here you can say chrome download this will directly take you to the chrome web store and search and get you to the selenium ide page or you can just go to chrome web store and say selenium ide and search and here is selenium ide so this will take you to the same page and here you can see the details about selenium ide the features all these links and then we have add to Chrome so you can just add the extension. So this will get added to the browser. Okay. And you can see it is added here. And now I can use uh, this Selenium IDE to record any test. So let's say uh, we have Selenium IDE here. I can click here and this will open in a new tab, new window of the browser. And here you can see these options. So we have all these options here, record a new test in a new project, open an existing project, create new project, close Selenium IDE. So I will go with the first option here, record a new test in a new project. You can give some project name, this I will say project one. And then the base URL. So in the last sessions, so this is the link I am using. So I am pasting it here and I will click on start recording. So you can see it opens the link, the web page in a new window. And now I can, it says Selenium IDE is recording. And if you want, see this. So you can see this is my Selenium IDE and this is the web page where I am recording. So I will click on this, let's say, I'll click on this alert button and I will say OK. You can see all, I will say, I will enter first name here, last name, I will click on these radio buttons. I will select the options and this is multiple option so I can press the con then this is autofill as I start typing I can select from the auto suggestion uh, here is a color picker then the date here is the range scroller then we have file, uh, we have this box where we, I can select or I can make the counter up or down. Then here is a text area. I am typing something. 
then we have the submit button okay also I can do a right click and you can see I get this option selenium IDE and I can see some actions like mouse over assert store verify wait for so let us say I will just assert that this button is present I will just go to the login section I want to do a login test as well so I will say test username is test password is test and click on login I will if the credentials are correct I get to the login successful page now here let's say I want to check login successful message so I can again do a right click and say selenium IDE and I will say assert and I will say this is present and once this is all is done you can click on the stop button now I have split it my screen so that it is easier for you to see and follow but if you are getting uh, this in a separate windows that is all fine you can just check for this message selenium IDE is recording I will stop the recording now and it is asking me to give a name to the test I will say this is my test one and say okay okay so this is done let us very quickly do a, a replay I will tell you the, uh, about the details in a moment about all these steps and all the features but for now let us click on this button to run the current test I will click here and let's see so it goes to the website and yes it has gone to the application clicked on the alert button it is writing the first name last name selecting the radio button you can see the options it has selected now multiple option selection box this is all working fine check boxes is working fine let's see the auto suggestion it is also fine the color picker is fine it has selected the date as well now let us see if it is able to scroll to the range and yes it was able to and also this one is also it should take it to 5 I think I recorded this to take it to 5 and yes it is taking it there then the text area then the submit button it has checked then it is now logging in and then it has also checked everything is fine okay so it has also checked the successful message now let us come back to the selenium IDE window here you can see we have all these steps recorded open browser then go to the particular link all these are select all these are recorded here if you go to any of the step you can see the details here you can see the command so you can see the command you can see all other commands as well for this particular element but this is what we have used then here we can enable or disable the command we can add a new window configuration uh, what is relevant to us is the command and the target so target is the locator of the element and you can see it is using the id f name for this particular element however if you click on this drop down you can see other locators as well so you can select from here so it will select the best possible locator but it also gives us option for all the other locators so we can find this element by id by name by css by xpath by xpath position so you can use this in your scripts okay also you can find this select target in page and find target in page so this is also very useful let us let me show you let's say I will go back okay uh, this is the first name this is the first name box if you want to search for this element and you want to check where is this element on the page you can click this and you can see it is highlighting that particular element also just in case you want to find any other element or the same element you can click on this and then you can select the element and you can see it will then update the locators here so let me see 
if I want, if I select a different element, you can see it has changed the locator here. The locators are changed here, but I don't want this. So let me just go back to the first name here. Okay. So this is also what we can do. Then you can see some more options uh, here. If I go and check, we have all these options here. You can also give the values here. If you want to find something or you want to check some message, you can also give the value here. This is the description of the step, which is optional. Also, after you run, you can see the logs. So if I run anything, you will see the logs here and the references here. So if I select any step, you can see assert confirmation tracer button. You can see here the details of that particular step. Okay. Then if you want to save this project, it, it can be saved as a Selenium IDE or site project for later use. Also, if you come here, you can see test suites, test, test suites and executing. Click on test suites and here we have got our default suite and our test is added under the default suite. If you want, you can rename it. And if you click on these three dots, you can see add tests, rename. Let me just rename my suite. I will say my suite one. And again, if I click on these three dots, you can see options for settings. If I go to the settings, we have the timeout settings here. You can increase or decrease the timeout. We have run in parallel. If you have multiple tests in this test suite, we have the option to run it in parallel. However, if you want to run it in parallel, you will need the runner that is Selenium IDE command line runner. And if you click here, it will take you to the web page of command line runner. And this is the same if you uh, just go to Selenium IDE. This is the page where we were earlier. And if you click on these docs, you can see all these documentation getting started, command line runner, control flow, code expert. So this is the command line runner. So you will have to get node on your system and using node, you can just get this command line runner. Now I had created a separate tutorial on this. So if you search for Selenium command line runner by my name, you will get the video. So this was the video I created. In this video, I have shown the details about command line runner, how to get it, what are the features, how to run it, how to uh, run the tests in parallel using command line runner. I will also keep a link for this video in the description. So you can check this if you want to use command line runner. Okay. And also here, let me cancel this. Again, if you go to these three dots, we have the option to export before exporting. You can see all these options here. This is to run all the tests in the test suite. This is to run the, uh, the particular highlighted test. Here we can step over the current command. We can run it step by step. Then we have the option for setting the executing execution speed fast or slow. Okay. Now let us see the option to export. I will click on this three dots and we have export button here. Here you can export your test in a language of your choice. We have C sharp and unit C sharp X unit Java J unit JavaScript Mocha Python PyTest Ruby aspect. So let me select Python. Here we have other options. If you want to include the tracing code com comments, if you want to include step description as a separate comment, all this option is here and you can click on export and you can just save the Python file. Okay. And then you can use it in your project. So let us see if I open this file. Okay. So this is the file. I can just copy this and go to my project. Let me just go to my project. 
so I will open PyCharm here and uh, I'll just create a new file I will say new Python file I will say recorded script 1 and I will paste it here now if you see here this is using PyTest as of now we have not discussed about PyTest in this series I will tell you about this later so this is actually a PyTest test and here you can see it is now this test has all these setup teardown methods test methods so once we learn about PyTest you can directly use this however for now if you want you can just copy the statements that is all these steps where we are going to the link and then all the locators so now you do not have to manually find all these locators you can directly copy these from here and then use it in your scripts okay so these are all the options you can use with selenium ide and you can try some more options and let me know if you have any questions i hope this was very useful i will see you in the next session thank you for watching and never stop learning